Well, here we are, fight week. You know, you got the family with you. You know, how are you feeling coming into uh, another fight here at the Apex? You know, it feels like uh, I was just here. You know, it's starting to feel like this is my second home, and um, I feel good. I feel, I feel really, really good this week. I was going to say, a lot of people, you know, obviously everybody would want to fight down at T-Mobile if they get the opportunity, but there are some benefits to fighting out of the Apex. I imagine, you know, the, sometimes people like the crowd to fight. Sometimes people like the quiet to hear their coaches. How, where do you sort of stand on fighting here at the Apex? You know, I would love to have a crowd. Um, a crowd does give you energy. But at the same time, the Apex always has a little bit of a crowd. And this is becoming just routine for us, you know, like uh, the whole process of it, the whole process of getting checked in. And I mean, just, just the whole week, it feels so familiar. So um, that's really beneficial. I feel like when it, when it comes to like fight week and everything, it just, it feels so familiar. I'm so used to it. My mind and my body is so used to it. It's just, uh, it's just what I do. How was fight camp coming into this fight? It was great. You know, had the right amount of adversity, um, the right amount of ups and downs. And um, I'm just, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really locked in. When you say adversity or ups and downs, you're talking about like days that feel good, days feel like you're on point, days that are challenged, or, or is it just like the opponents that you bring in? Like when you say that, what, what sort of stuff do you mean? Yeah, just the days you feel good, uh, the ups and downs. Um, you know, the days you feel good fight-wise, like skill-wise, the days you feel good mentally, just just there's so many different ups and downs that come with fight camp, you know, and uh, uh, my coach Trey Ogden always says that adversity is the backdrop to MMA. And so you got to expect it and you got to embrace it. So um, if there's no adversity in fight camp, it seems a little bit weird, but there wasn't too much. It was just the right amount. I'm healthy. I feel like I'm healthier um, than I've ever been going into a fight. Um, mentally, I'm super locked in. I'm just, uh, I'm ready to just showcase the best version of, of miles that there is, you know, I'm not even, I, I want to win. I want to win really freaking bad. But at the same time, over winning, I just want to show the best version of myself. Well, so, all right, well, let's say like that. Does that, is the best version a quick knockout? Is the best version that takes a little adversity in the fight and then perseveres? Or is it just somebody that just goes out there and dominates? What's the best version of you that you would like to see on Saturday? There's truly no telling. Um, Douglas is a very skilled opponent. He has a lot of heart. He has the warrior spirit. And the only people that have beat Douglas are top tier guys. And they've all said, man, that was a challenge. You know, he go, he's going to go out there and he's going to go out on his sword, shield no matter what. Um, so I don't know. I, I do believe that if he's throwing some naked kicks and he's trying to throw his power, that I could time that I could put his lights out. You know, he gets hurt in a lot of his fights. But at the same time, I'm expecting to go through some adversity. I'm expecting him not to make this easy for me. Um, but I'm just, I'm really excited to be where I'm at here. Um, yeah, I feel like people don't really understand where I was in my life when I took my losses. You know, when, uh, the, when the challenge came, I wasn't, I was going through the hardest part in my life. And uh, now I'm here and I feel good. We often hear from fighters, you know, in fact, it was just mentioned some other fighters earlier, you know, the losses is one thing, but the, the mental side of the game is, if anything, the most challenging part of, of the fight game that there is you know training camps are hard fights are fun but do you feel like the mental side of the game is maybe the most challenging part of fighting um it is until you get control of it you know i feel like i grew up in this um in this company you know as a fighter and i i did go through some of the most challenging times in my entire life while i was a ufc fighter and um i think that they came out in the cage in front of the whole world you know and um and since then i've had some good wins you know, I've made some changes. I, I went back home and I was looking, I was in search of the old miles, the high school wrestling miles that had a heart of a lion that everybody knew that. And I found him and, I, and I've got some good wins since then, but no staple wins, like none that our people are like, oh, that's gotta be a big staple. I mean, they all like, I mean, they had Cody Gibson picked. A lot of people had Dan Argueta picked, you know, but afterwards people are like, oh yeah, I could see how Miles won this fight. This one I feel like is gonna be a staple in my career. That's like, okay, this kid does have the potential that we thought that he may have. This kid is a top 10 Bantamweight in the world because I am, and I know I am. Is that in part because the, the type of opponent that you have across from you, you know that it, when I think of this on paper, I see two guys are going to meet right in the middle of the, of the octagon and throw some hands. I mean, it, is he the right dance partner for you to kind of show those sort of skills? And do you envision that he's going to be coming at you quick right from the get-go? Um, I do think he is the perfect dance partner. Um, I think that he is, like I said, the only guys that beat him are top-tier guys. 
like the only losses he's had. He's 29 and five. Everybody that's beat him is a very good fighter, top 15 guy. So I do feel like uh, this is the one that I need to cement the fact to answer a lot of questions like how what potential does this kid have in this division what potential does this kid have in this company i'm i'm about to answer those questions for everybody and like you said with a with a tough opponent like then what do you think this would do for you in the division where do you think this would place you in the division with a nice definitive win and does it have to be a definitive win or is just is a win enough to show the division that you're on your way up um of course, I, I would love to bring home the 50 Gs, you know, like, I, I, like I'm looking for every time I go out there, I'm looking to put your lights out. And Douglas has been hurting a lot of his fights. And um, if you've been hurt other, against other guys, you're going to get hurt against me. So I would love to have one of those fights. But at the same time, if it's a grimy fight that I that I show that I do got heart, that I do have the heart of a lion, then um, then that's what it is. I'll, I'll, I'll get the win. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm less worried about the result and I'm more worried about the miles that shows up Saturday night, you know, and I get a little emotional talking about it just because uh, I'm grateful to be here. How active, say the miles that you want to show up shows up, how active is that miles? Are you the kind that you want to fight two or three times a year? Is it two times the perfect number so you have time to recover, prepare? How often would you like to see yourself in there? Um, you know, this is my third fight in nine months, and I feel like that's really helped me find my flow. It's really helped me um, just... Uh, yeah, just find my flow with the fight camp, with the weight cut, with everything. After this, um, depending, I would maybe take, well, I wouldn't say I would take a long time off because, I mean, three months, I'm sure I'll be ready to go at it again. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a real career out of this. I'm trying to get ahead financially, and um, we'll, we'll just see what happens. But this is my third fight in nine months, and it, it feels great. It feels like the right time. Is your son going to be there fight night? He's going to be there fight night. Is that, is that the sort of thing that amps you up? I mean, obviously, it might not be too old enough to recognize what it is, but is that something that's going to be special for you to have that? And, and is that going to push you forward that night? It always, uh, my wife and my son being there, that's my youngest son, my youngest of four, them being there, um, it always means so much to me. My wife is such a big part of this whole journey. Um, yeah. And then I got my three other boys. Sorry. No, I love it. I love, we often forget, you know, Outside of it, we see the fighter, we see the entertainment, we understand there's a, there's a team behind that, you know, so this all means something. So I think it's great to see the emotion because obviously yeah. you could tell that this means something for you. Yeah, it means a lot. And I'm not making it a bigger deal than it is. Um, you know, I'm not like, I'm not out here like, I need this win, I need this win. I'm just out here to um, show the world who I am. And Saturday, last for me, what are your keys to the victory? What needs to happen to make sure that you get your arm raised on Saturday? Um, I need to fight my fight. I need to um, no free kicks. You know, he's a he's a good kicker. He's a good striker. Anytime he throws those kicks up, I'm going to punch him right in the mouth. And uh, I just need to fight my fight. I need to push the pace. I need to drag him to the deep waters. And I need to show him, uh, I need to show him what I'm all about. Is, um, is Elijah going to get a shot on the Contender Series this year, or what's up? Um, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, he's got he's to be here. And... Uh, He's training. I know he's training hard. It, it sucks not having him on this journey right with me, you know, because he's in Dallas. But uh, but he's always there. You know, he's always there in spirit, and he'll be here. I, I hope he gets a shot at Contender Series this summer for sure. Awesome. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.